Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you two relatively quick and easy um, hairstyles which I think are really cute and really fun and really good for summer as well. So I'm going to start with the fishtail plait. So the fishtail plait is one of those hairstyles which can look like really really fancy and really really intricate and um, looks quite complicated but actually once you start doing the plait and once you sort of work out how to do it it's a relatively simple um, style so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So I'm going to be showing you the fishtail as a side plait just because obviously that's easier for the angle and also I really like having my hair in a side plait I think it looks really cute and also on a hot day like today keeps all the hair off your neck. So first thing I'm going to do is just brush through my hair and then brush it all over to one side. I tend to do mine on the side, as you can see I have a side parting so I tend to do mine on the side with more hair. Once you've got all of your hair over to this side of the head you're just going to split the hair into two equal sections and then you're going to take a piece from the side of the back section bring it over the back section and in to the front section then you're going to take a piece from the front section take it over and join it to the back section Taking a piece, taking it over the front section, joining it to the back section, joining it. Taking this piece, taking it over the front section, joining it to the back section. It is quite fiddly at the top of the plat. But once you've sort of got the first bit in, it does get easier. Um, if you want to start it off a bit easier, you can put a bubble into it, like a side ponytail, and then plait it, just so that it's already like secure. It does look quite messy to begin with but it does all start to join together and look much neater as you go down. be quite fiddly and it probably will take a few practices but once you've sort of got the hang of it it's quite a simple style to do. As you can see it's now really beginning to take shape and look more like a fishtail. It is more fiddly at the top so yeah as I said you can just put a bobble in at the top so that it's not um, all loose so it's already secure um, or you can just practice it a few times and you'll get the hang of it. doesn't really matter how big or small the sections of hair are that you're taking. Um, obviously the smaller the sections the longer it's going to take you. I tend to start with quite big sections and as I get closer to the bottom start gathering smaller.
you reach the bottom of your hair it's sort of up to you how much hair you want to leave out of the plait at the bottom some people like to leave quite a lot out and maybe curl it or um, just leave it as it is I tend to have the like tail of the hair quite short so I have as much hair as possible actually in the plait sections of hair that I'm taking into the middle are getting quite small now and I don't really have much hair left so once you're at a point where you're happy which I am you just want to secure it on the end with a hair bubble I'm using this one with a bow on it. This hairband was actually made by um, my friend Cody who has a um, online shop where she sells these so I will leave a link to that below. So there you go that is how to do a side fishtail plait. As it said it probably will take a couple of tries to get it exactly how you want it you can do this at the side you could do two um you could do it just like down the back um yeah you sort of have fun with it so it's now a few days later and i'm going to be showing you the second hairstyle which is a bow on top of your head so the first thing that you want to do is put your hair in a ponytail which i've already done make sure it's quite a high ponytail so that you can sort of see it at the top of your head um, for this hairstyle you're going to need two hair bands, so one to put your hair in a ponytail and then a second one. Um, also ideally a little clear elastic, um, some hair grips, a hairbrush and um, ideally one of these which is a topsy tail tool. Um, you can get them from quite a lot of places, they're not too expensive, um, it's just going to make doing this style much easier so once you've got your hair up in a ponytail I'm just going to brush it you can also like pull bits out of the front if you want to just sort of make add a bit more shape to the face um, I have a really big forehead so I like to pull bits out to try and make it look less massive um, and then once you're sort of happy with how your ponytail is and sort of the shape of it and everything you then want to take your hairband and, and then you just want to put your hair into a bun so not into like a round bun just into like a pull through sort of bun like that and then just Make sure that you've left quite a lot of hair out and then just get your fingers all the way through the bun and then separate it roughly in half. Doesn't need to be perfect. Once you've done that, I'm just going to grip them down this isn't how you're going to keep it it's just to keep them out of the way for the moment so with this tail that you have left at the back you just want to plait that just a really simple three strand plait make sure that you're not getting any of your bun into this plait otherwise it won't work properly So 
so once that is plaited you just want to get your clear elastic and secure it at the bottom. So once that plait is really nice and secure, what you're going to do is make sure that these two sections are staying well out of the way, otherwise this could go wrong. Then you want to get your topsy tail tool and push it through this bit right here underneath the hairbands so that it comes out on the other side, you want to sort of get it so that it's going in like a straight line. Then you bring your plait over the top between these two sections and thread it through this circular bit of the topsy tail. Again, making sure that your buns are staying well out of the way. And then all you do is just pull it through on the other side. This bit can be quite tough, might take a couple of practices. So once it's through, you just want to pull it at the back and then use a couple of hair grips to pin it into place so that it doesn't slide back through. Once you've done that, you can just take the hair grips out of the front bits and play around with them a bit, poof them up a bit. And then I would recommend just using a couple more hair grips just to grip the bottom of these bits down just to make sure that it is sort of anchored to the head. And there you have it. Cute little bow. So there you go, that is how you can turn your hair into a cute little bow. As I said, it probably will take a bit of time, a bit of practice, you do have to be quite patient with it, but once you've got the hang of it and you can do it, it does look really cool. Um, and much like the fishtail, it's sort of one of those hairstyles that can look quite complex and look like you've spent a really, really long time on it, when in actual fact, it's, once well, you've got the hang of it, relatively simple and doesn't take too long. Um, so yes, yeah, so I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, seeing um, me create these two hairstyles. Um, I really look forward to seeing your recreations of it. So please do, if you post them anywhere, please do tag me. Um, my Instagram will pop up on the screen around here somewhere. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you all again very soon with another video. Big love. Bye.